I'm here at HPE Discover in Madrid with Patrick Osborne, and there was a pretty big announcement yesterday in the, the general session around uh, Blue Data uh, becoming part of HPE. Can you yep. talk about that? Yeah, we're very excited to welcome uh, the Blue Data team to the HPE family. Uh, I think it's going to be a great um, asset for us from a software perspective. We've had um, pretty explosive growth in the area of big data and analytics, um, and then we see certainly a lot of opportunity in AI and ML and deep learning applications. Over the last year, that business is, you know, it's been like a rocket ship, right? And it's, I think it's a lot because customers are using these applications and techniques to affect their own digital transformation. So what we're, what we're um, what we're going to do is um, essentially we made an announcement on an acquisition yesterday for Blue Data. They're a leader in um, uh, a virtualization layer and automation layer that helps customers essentially um, be able to deploy big data and analytics uh, workloads in virtual clusters as well as AI and, and ML apps as well as tapping into existing data lakes. So for us it's going to be able to um, provide a very, very um, uh, great experience on our Apollo systems that we use for big data today. Um, and you can think about it, the tagline for, for these folks has been, so you think about the VMware, uh, but for big data applications, right? So it allows us to virtualize. So it's a pretty exciting acquisition. We're very excited. So, so what does this give HPE that, that wasn't there before, say with like reference architectures or things like that? Yeah, yeah. so a lot of the deployments that we've done uh, lately have been uh, certainly on bare metal, right? So we have, uh, we you know provide our Elastic platform for analytics, which is you know, rack scale infrastructure, compute nodes, storage nodes, accelerator nodes, you know, for customers running these apps. And what this allows customers to do is essentially um, set up a, uh, a set of infrastructure that you can deploy these applications on virtually. So it democratizes the use of big data and analytics um, and AI apps for, you know, folks like the developers, the data scientists, um, you know, as, as a lot of these applications become uh, very important from a business, you know, critical and mission critical perspective, now you have the ability to test and dev and versioning control. Uh, one of the great things too about it is that it has a multi-cloud capability, so you can actually run a lot of these apps either on-prem or off-prem or both, so it's pretty exciting. That is pretty exciting. Yeah. So uh, I look forward to see where that goes. Yeah, me too. And uh, I think there's uh, there's some definite things that we're going to be uh, announcing. We're looking to close uh, in the first quarter of our fiscal year here, and um, you know, so stay tuned for some exciting announcements. All right. Maybe at the next Discover. Maybe. All right. Thanks, Patrick. All right. Thank you very much.